it started off just as something that, you know, kind of like to fill up your free time kind of thing. The plan was to actually stop when we started college because college can be quite crazy at times. But yeah, we fell in love with teaching and we can't, you know, we can't bear to leave the kids, yeah. Earlier this year, Heidi Kwa and her best friend Andrea Prisha decided to do some volunteer work before starting college. After a previous encounter with refugee children and some asking around, they decided to volunteer at the Myanmar Refugee School in Sungai Bersi that was in need of teachers. According to UNHCR, according to statistics, only 40% of all refugee kids get education of any sort. The kids in a refugee centre, they are more appreciative and they are more willing to learn. They make the most of the time they have and um, even if you tell them like you know you want to come in on Saturdays to teach, they're more than happy to learn. Neither Heidi, Andrea or any of their other volunteer friends have any experience in teaching. But the children who are always welcoming and enthusiastic make their task less daunting and more fun. We have a variety of teaching as well as arts and craft. We usually try to go into creative teaching. Some of the weeks we teach the kids English because that's what they need the most since they'll be transferred to other countries. We have teaching for about one hour, then we do about arts and craft for another hour with the kids. School time is from about 10 to 4, and after 4 we usually stay back to bond with the kids. I don't want it to be just a touch and go thing where, where we, don't, we don't, we just teach the kids, but I want to communicate with them, I want to reach to them. I want them to know that we really care, it's not just only teaching, but we care for them. A few months into their teaching at Chin's Children Education Centre, they were informed that the school would have to be shut down due to lack of funds. I decided with my group of friends that we needed to do something to keep the school going. And in order to raise funds, the first thing we did was blog about it, as well as set up a Facebook page to get people aware and informed of what we are doing. We also post up our project on websites like Do Good Volunteer and Do Something Good. And especially through Do Good Volunteer, we got a lot of response. Until today, even though we, project, even though we posted the project quite a while ago, we are still getting response until today. Their project, named Refuge for the Refugees, has successfully raised enough funds to keep Chin's Children Education Centre open as well as bring in other individuals to help out at the school. With the hope of helping other refugee communities in Malaysia, Heidi and her friends took their project a step further. On September 3rd, Refuge for the Refugees was registered as an official non-governmental organisation. Basically because we realise how much we enjoy doing this and we don't really want to um, teach at one centre. We, we are looking to branching out to other centres to reach out to other refugee communities. So we are hoping to change that. Uh, we are hoping to change the statistics and really build schools and you know recruit volunteers, get people involved and aware of what's happening around and just get them to give back to the community. Running an NGO, organising a team of volunteers and juggling schoolwork, Heidi has her arms full. It's actually quite hectic, but um, time management, I suppose. Yeah, and if it's something you enjoy doing, like you know how much I enjoy being with the kids, then it's it's not a burden. It's it's a joy. Even teaching the kids on Wednesday, it's actually a break for me. You know, throughout like my hectic college life. Yeah, so it's something I really look forward to. One thing we always tell volunteers is availability and not ability, because some people they want to volunteer and they tell us that oh, you know, I don't have experience or or I don't know how to manage kids and stuff like that. But I believe that it's some, it's things, these things are something that you have to catch along the way. It's most important, you know, if you have the heart to actually volunteer, then yeah, that's the most important thing, to have the heart. You know, not do it just to ease your guilty conscience kind of thing, but do it because you're really interested in doing it.